So Kling AI has just released a new 1.5 model. With this new 1.5 model, it allows you to generate 1080p HD videos in professional mode. And the good thing is they haven't changed the generation price. And they've added motion brush, which is an awesome feature. This works with image to video, and I'll show you some examples shortly. They've also added in a few different upgrades, so now you can generate up to four videos at one time. And the image to video function now supports a duration of 10 seconds and allows adding a last frame in professional mode. They've also added in AI images resolution enhancement, so let's have a look at some of the videos generated in 1.5. They do state that model 1.5 delivers significant improvements in overall aesthetics, it has more natural motion, and enhanced text responsiveness. So here we have a few examples from Kling. So for this example, they've used a prompt of a Chinese girl slowly looks towards the camera, with a blurred city night scene in the background. The heroine is illuminated by the artificial light source in front of her, emphasizing her facial contours the camera slowly moves to the heroine's face. And to be honest, they both look really good. I'm not noticing a huge difference with the models, but I guess there is a definite resolution upgrade in the 1.5 as it's 1080p, whereas Kling 1.0 is 720p. And here is another one, but of a monkey. And I can definitely see the difference in these videos. The 1.5 model video just looks like it's got a lot more detail and is just a lot clearer. Whereas the 1.0 video looks okay, but it just looks like it's lacking in detail. And here we have a classic noodles video. And while I think they both look pretty good, the 1.5 video definitely has a lot of detail in those noodles, but I would say they both look pretty good. And here's a look at how it works with kind of CG animation. So we have a fox and dinosaur are dancing under a tree. In the 1.0 video, it looks like they're kind of kissing or just kind of whispering something to each other, or the fox is trying to eat the dinosaur. And in 1.5, it does look like they're actually dancing. So I think it's followed the prompt better than the 1.0 version. And here we have someone sticking a spoon into a bowl of food. And the 1.5 model has definitely followed the prompt more, as it actually shows a spoon going into the food. Whereas the Kling 1.0 video doesn't feature anyone putting a spoon into the food. There are some limitations to the 1.5 model at the moment, as you can only create videos with text, you can't use motion brush at the moment with it, and you can't do camera control yet. So hopefully they add those shortly. And talking about motion brush, let's jump into that. This is a really cool feature that they've added, and it should give you a lot more control with how you animate your video. So I'll show you a quick demonstration on how to use it. So I'm just trying a simple test with the motion brush. And as you can see, it says draw the desired motion area and add the complete motion path. So it shows a little preview here using the arrow going around and it follows that motion. And if you don't want the camera to move, you can also add a static area, which is really cool. So I'm gonna try a basic motion brush video. I'll click on the motion brush setting. Okay, so I'm just going to put a squiggle on this apple here. Or you can use the auto segmentation, so you can select the area. And then I will draw in the direction that I want it to go. And you can also add in static areas of objects that you don't want to move. Alright, so let's have a look at the results. The video of the apple floating looks really cool. It's managed to keep some really nice lighting and reflections on the apple. And you can even notice the shadow move away as it lifts up. That is very impressive. So as you can add up to six different brushes, I'm going to try it on this image of these birds. So I'll make them go in different directions. And it's easier to use the auto segment tool with the birds. And the results for the bird video look really nice. I mean, they're quite static, they're not flapping their wings, but they've moved exactly in the directions that I wanted them to. So here are a few more examples of the motion brush feature and ways that you can use it. So here we have a sailboat that they used, and these are the results in standard and professional mode. And they look really good, to be honest. 
And remember to add in prompts to help with the generation. So this one is the grass sways in the wind while two dogs look off in different directions. So as you can see from the image, they've segmented the heads and the grass separately and the results look great. So as you can see, it just gives you so much control over your images. And here we have candle flame flickering, pouring water from the teapot into the teacup, apple falls into the water. So it's really nice to see that Kling AI have added in these updates, and I'll definitely be experimenting more with them as they're pretty fun to use. If you have any thoughts on this 1.5 model, please leave your comments down below. It would be awesome if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to watch one of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.